Thanks, boys. On the local, you know, 93.5 3BO. It's time to go outside the boundary on After the Siren. Thanks to centralvicfooty.com.au. And this week, Coggo and Sean, we're chatting to a young bloke who's not only a gun on the footy field, but also pretty handy on the cricket pitch, although I'm led to believe he may have cost his side a win in the seven-a-side charity match earlier this year with a very ordinary spell of bowling. We might ask him about that later. He's one of Heathcote's favourite sons. He's just recently played on Man Mountain, Aaron James, which is a fair effort considering he's one of the skinniest blokes at the club. He survived to tell us the tale, so this week, we're chatting to Lukey Bell. Belly, thanks for jumping outside the boundary and after the siren, mate. How you feeling? Yeah, not too bad. Not too happy with you calling blokes skinny, though, mate. That's a bit of pot calling the kettle black there, but, you know. Hey, uh, nothing wrong with us skinny blokes, by the way. But uh, anyway, yeah, no. mate, let's get straight into the questions. We'll start off with a nice, gentle one for you, Belly. As a kid growing up, who was your footballing idol? Oh, that would be Kuda Fides, probably, I reckon, mate. So you're a bit yeah. of a blues man? Yeah, definitely a blues fan, mate. All right, I knew there was a reason I didn't like you. Anyway, we'll move <laughs> along. Uh, the most annoying player at Heathcote, Belly, and tell us why. Oh, it'd have to be Kevin Bloom, just because he's the most intense in your face all the time. He's just an absolute shocker. Belly, if you had three people you could invite round to your house for a beer, who would they be? Three blokes. I would invite Judah, yep. Warwick Kappa, and Damien Jar. Interesting trio, mate. Uh, why the big whiz, Warwick Kappa? He'd um, provide a few good laughs and that. Righto, Belly, pre-season this year, I'm led to believe from my very, very reliable sources that it was a little bit interrupted with a sore toe. Now, mate, tell us, how did you come across that injury? Stumble, uh, just yeah, not fully concentrating on where I was looking. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> no truth to the rumour, Belly, that you may have been chased by your sister and ran into your old man's truck? No, nah, that was last year, mate. <laughs> oh, right, eh? A bit of a multiple choice here for you, Belly. Candlelit dinner, you've got a nice bottle of red, you're overlooking the ocean with Scarlett Johansson, or you've got 10 goals in a grand final for Heathcote. Which one do you take? Oh, I'd have to take the 10 in the granny, mate. Scarlett Johansson doesn't do it for you, mate? Oh, she's all right. She's pretty handy. But yeah, I'd rather 10 in the granny. <laughs> Fair enough, buddy. <laughs> What's the most romantic thing you've ever done for a girl, mate? The big effort I'll put in for Valentine's Day just gone, mate. Big three-course dinner, all, but he's spent a fortune on it. And yeah, poor old Holly had fallen asleep by the third course. I filled <laughs> her up with that much champagne and food. So, oh, well, I thought it was romantic, but she mightn't have felt the same way. Now, uh, you're obviously known around the traps pretty simply as Belly. It's a very original nickname, that one, mate. But are there any other nicknames that we should know about around the footy club? Oh, I've been called plenty of things by the blokes at the footy club, but uh, about just generally Bally, I reckon, yeah. Probably none that you can repeat on radio? Yeah, nah, something like that, I reckon, yeah. It's a bit of word association, Lukey, so basically I'll mention something or someone, and I want you to tell us the first thing that pops into your head. So you ready to go? Yep, yeah, no worries, mate. All right, mate, here it is. Al Meldrum. Cop. The town of Heathcote. Thriving. Emu Creek. Legends. Mark Millard. Doesn't use his left arm when he bowls. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. The Ring Brothers. <laughs> Too many. And what about playing on Aaron James, mate? Tell us about that. Oh, I just tried um, out-muscle him a bit, I think, mate. How'd you go with the out-muscling there, Belly? <laughs> nah, nah, no good. No, nah, um, he's a scary unit, but he was a pretty nice seller. No, nah, you've done well there, mate. Now, just finally, before we wrap it up, uh, I had to ask you this question, and your, your mate Mark Millard has put me up to this, but he reckons last year you claimed that you kicked one of the goals of the year against Lockington from you claimed 65 metres out. Mark wants everyone to know it was about 40 metres out when you kicked this goal. But tell us, mate, step by step, how did it go through the big sticks? Was it that good? Oh, she was pretty handy cover. Smokey got in and got the hard ball. Old sheep dogging it out the side. <laughs> I had a Hurricane Katrina behind me. And, um, yeah, just got the ball and threw it on the boot. And got right under it and, yeah, just kept on going. So, oh, I was at least 70, I reckon, but, you know. Is so there a cool. message in this for uh, Al Meldrum that maybe you're playing at the wrong, wrong end of the park, Belly? I've been telling him all the last two years, I reckon. Get me forward, but no, he just won't do it. Lukey, you've done a fantastic job, mate, on uh, Outside the Boundary. Thanks for giving us your time on uh, After the Siren. And all the best for the rest of the season. The Saints going very nicely at the moment. Hopefully one step better from uh, 2008. So uh, thanks, Belly. All the best. No worries, mate. Thanks very much. On the local, you know, 3 yo. There you go, boys. Thanks to centralvicfooty.com.au. A very entertaining chat there with Lukey Bell. We'll cross back to you guys, Cogo and Sean, with After the Siren.